Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am reading a book called It's a George Thing and it's written by David Bedford and illustrated by Russell Julian. And um, if you have a look at George here, it looks like he's dancing, right? Yeah, well, I've been teaching dance at school this term and I have loved watching all of the students who think they can't dance have a go. And guess what? It turns out they love to dance and express themselves. So um, let's see what the blurb tells us. George the zebra has two best friends, Peachy and Moon. Every day they get together to play big ball and rocks. The trouble is, big ball and rocks aren't really George's thing. He doesn't understand them and he is not very good at them. But what can he do? Then one day he hears some special music and suddenly things take a turn for the better. Hmm, like a lot of kids in my class, once that music starts, they can't help but move. And we've been doing some fun stuff. We've tried a bit of Bollywood, we've tried a bit of Hawaiian, we've tried a bit of Filipino dancing. So they have had a great time exploring all of the different countries. We've even tried African dancing. Now that's pretty tricky dancing. If you look that up, it's a little bit more difficult than the others. So let's see what George's thing is. <laughs> yeah, I like this page. He's got a sofa in the middle of the African jungle. George had two best friends, Peachy and Moon. Every morning, George went to Peachy's house to play big ball. Playing big ball was a Peachy thing. It was the thing Peachy liked best. George wasn't very good at it. Hmm, it's hard to play. Like I know some of the kids who play handball at school. Do you ever get tired of playing when there's those kids that just win every time you play? I know, right? Some people are just naturally good at these things. So maybe it's their thing. You've got to find your thing that you're good at. Every afternoon, George went to Moon's house to play rocks. Playing rocks was a moon thing. It was the thing Moon liked best. George didn't understand. <laughs> I think by playing rocks he's meaning weightlifting. Yeah, that's definitely a Mr. Jones thing too. I don't mind it. I prefer boxing. One day, when George was walking home from Moon's house, he heard a sound, new sound coming from Priscilla's riverboat. Priscilla was playing a guitar, and when she began singing, there's Priscilla and there's her guitar, although it looks a bit like a ukulele to me. George did this. Uh-oh. You're a really good dancer, George, said Priscilla. I'm putting you in my show tonight. It's at seven o'clock. Don't be late. Wow, he wasn't even trying out for the show. He must be a good dancer. George had to hurry to get ready, but it took ages to find something to wear. Um, how many things do you see in George's cupboard? Hmm, he's only got one, but it looks like he's doing some chopping up with the scissors. Oh, George. Then he checked the time. I'm late, yelled George. Hmm, I do like he's made a vest out of his jumper. Very clever, George. On his way to the show, George saw Peachy and Moon looking for him so he hid where they would never look. He didn't think his friends would understand. George! They're looking for him, but he's hiding because he's a little bit embarrassed and shy. When George finally arrived at the show, he had a surprise. 
It looked like the whole jungle was there. Oh no. <coughs> Look what he's done with his jumper. Very impressive. He's got socks, a vest, and a hairband. Very cool, George. Very cool. George felt very nervous. But when Priscilla began to sing, oh, what happens when he hears that song? <sighs> George did this and this and this and this. George was having so much fun. But then, uh oh, what's going to happen? George froze. Everyone was staring at him. He had never felt so alone. Priscilla was still singing, but George couldn't move. He's just realised that everybody's out there watching him. That's what I think we call stage fright. Happens all the time. Even to me, still, I never get used to it. Then suddenly there was someone beside him and another someone. It was Peachy and Moon. I'm not very good at this, puffed Peachy. I don't understand it, puffed Moon. I don't even know what it is. George grinned. It's a George thing. And he showed his friends how to do it. From then on, George still went to Peachy's house to do Peachy things. And he still went to Moon's house to do Moon things. But sometimes they all got together to do a George thing. He's got the whole place doing it now. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Look, the alligator's lying on the sofas. There's a lot to look at in that picture. And I really like all the different coloured trees. A little bit different to how I picture Africa looking, hey? And now he's teaching them, start with a stretch, push your chest up high, tickle your chin, now reach for the sky. Take a silly walk, do your own things, say bye bye, now spread your wings. Oh, so if you like dancing, I wonder what your thing is. How do you like to dance? And maybe you could teach it to someone else. I know my year ones are loving learning how to line dance. They think it's the best. Well, thank you for joining me to read about George's thing. And I would love to know what's your thing. Don't forget to click and subscribe and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.